Hello, welcome to Chris Park in Shooting Sports. Today we're having a look at three Tipton gun vices from Sportsman Gun Centre. And these in sequence are going to be the Tipton Ultra Gun Vice, which you see here first. This is the most complex gun vice, and it's the most expensive of the three. As you can see from above, it's got various tool trays in here to store all your uh, tools, workmates, pieces and things like cleaning cloths, gorillas, um, torque wrenches, torx keys, allen keys, spare bubbles, all sorts of bits and pieces. And essentially what you can see from above is you can see we've got moving clamps at the front and the rear to hold the gun as you need it. And these will also lift up and down, which you can see from the front, and lock in position to hold the gun exactly as you need it in terms of its angle. Now in the centre, I've actually got this support up at the moment, but those will lift up there to take a standard bolt action rifle as you wish to put it in, to set it up for cleaning, scope mounting, maintenance, whatever you want it for. All of these parts unclip and will lift away, so you've got complete free reign to get access to the gun from all the different areas. We can take the central cradle off here as well, and these will then both move back and forth as you need or require to use on the gun you're using at the time, whether it be a very long rifle with a long stock or a short rifle. So the centre section here is specifically for AR-15s. These can be quite fiddly to clean sometimes because they've got an upper and lower folding hinge section to the action. So if you put this up here and click it up central like that, and we just drop these guards out of the way at the ends, what we can do with an AR-15 is that clips straight on there in the magazine well and that is completely solid I can lift the gun up and it lifts the rest with it magazine release takes it back off now if I lift the gun off the rest I can actually pop the pins through the action lower and open the action like that and then clip it back down so now with the bolt open and removed I can get full access to the bore to clean it through with no chance of the gun accidentally folding and locking my hands inside it because if I tighten up the end here that is now completely sturdy and secure. I can also tighten the rear if I want, but it gives you an example of a gun that's specifically like an AR-15, very, very popular in the US market, and why this tips and ultra gun vice has been designed specifically for that as well as all of the rifles. So just taking this off now, putting it to one side, let's have a look at a bolt action rifle, which is more familiar to us in the UK. All the jaws are rubberized, so they clamp on the gun without any kind of damage lock that back down so now let's take this back off pop that back out of the way I'll just leave these back in position here because these have got my regular tools in allen keys, tape, lens cleaning cloths etc and I'll now try and pop a bolt action rifle in here's one I prepared earlier this is a CZ457 rimfire so at the back here I can lock in the butt pad and then at the front I'll just lift that into place there and similarly I can lock the forend into position and that is now completely secure to clean, to maintain, scope mounting etc however I want it. Gun rests like these, gun vices, are a fantastic addition to any toolkit because they're that third set of hands you often need when you're manipulating, altering, adjusting a rifle, fitting accessories to it, or just cleaning and maintenance. Tipton Gun Vice from Sportsman Gun Centre. This is going to be great for setting up and zeroing rifles and also for things like bore sighting and general cleaning maintenance overall. Which happens to be... Ooh, an almost colour match CZ457 long range precision. And that will sit on there. So let's just see how quickly this will adjust. We'll draw those apart. That's going to need to just be moved back there slightly. And what this does is this gives me quite serious support because I've got these locking collars on here and as you lift these up it tensions the bolt so if I nip those two pads onto the stock and I can just lift them or drop them down rather and 
as I drop those down, that then nips the gun in position. But I've still got adjustment for elevation at the front there, if I want it. And then the centre support here, which moves back and forwards, that will nip in either there, or I could probably have put it in there if I wanted to. And spinning it to the side allows it to be, to be moved without obstructing the gun that's already in, because you won't want to have to keep taking the gun in and out. Depending on the exact shape of the rifle and how you want to support it, you can take this centre support out completely. Alternatively, you can also change the direction in which it stands, so that it's a taller L shape to support the centre of the gun more solidly, especially if you're doing any kind of gunsmithing work. But correspondingly, that's also going to need Probably the front end lifting all the way high and the back end would sit higher too, depending on how exactly the shape of the gun fits. All the contact points on the Tipton gun vise are rubber, so nothing's going to scratch wood or metal or plastic stocks, whether it be a shotgun or a rifle. These soft pads at the rear also impose force laterally and clamp the gun, but they don't mark the surface of the stock. So that's all in. How long's that taken? A few minutes. Everything's tightened up. That is quite solid. Quite solid indeed. And I think what I would probably do is let's make an adjustment now because to make this fit slightly better, I am going to undo those. Because of the shape of the butt hook on this rifle, let's see how versatile this is because it's sitting up high on its butt hook at the minute, which we don't necessarily want. So what I'm probably going to do is drop this out behind. I'm just going to take the sling off it. I'm going to drop that down there, which means that these two lateral pads on the side can push onto the meat of the stock rather than the sides of the recoil pad. Drop that down at the front, slide it along a little bit, keep it out of the way of the bipod. So that is now ready to lock those down onto, and that is way more solid. So that just goes to show immediately out of the box. You've seen that real time. Assembling the pieces together, you're using it on this rifle, which is quite an unusual shape. It's quite a, an inconvenient shape, you could call it, for a gun rest. And it just shows how this Tipton vise will adjust and alter to fit everything. And with all these secondary support areas, it means you've got a really, really solid gun position, which is far more solid than the bench it's actually sitting on here. For those who watch my channel on a regular basis, you'll probably recognise the standard tips and gun vice which sits on the wall behind me here. This is my daily tool kit because I've got my Allen keys in here, I've got cleaning solvent, cleaning patches, and when I'm cleaning rifles I can use the cleaning rod and I've got full access to the rear of the gun, you know, in a straight line to clean them through with no intermittent problems. I can see everywhere, I can move around them, and when it comes to scope mounting, etc., bolts in and out got completely secure hold. Now this one has a clamp on the back with adjustable jaws on it and a v-groove at the front here so the rifle will just fit in there slot down at the back and I can knit that up you know to compensate for the width of the stock and then just lock the handle in place and again if I lift that up now okay the front will come up because it's only in a v-groove but the rear is, is solid and stationary and it's not going to slip or push out of the rest and the rest underneath like all the other Tipton rests has got rubber feet so it stays fixed in position. Well I hope you've enjoyed this short video it's good to see the three vices next to each other because they all have slightly different purposes but any one of which is a great addition to the toolkit for any shooter. The standard gun vise is £76.99 and the more advanced best gun vise is £172. 
The larger Ultra Gun Vice is $238.99 and you can also have that one if you don't have a bench to put it on with a set of legs and with the legs as well it comes to $362.99. That is an awesome piece of kit. I mean I have benches here for all my workshop kit but not everybody has that and with the bench you can move all the way around the gun. You've got 360 degree access for cleaning, maintenance, sighting in, setting up scopes etc. Things like that. Well, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe and please comment because your comments are what drive us to make more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.